So um, yeah, we're doing a chat room video. Uh, before anything, before we go anywhere, shout out to those of you who subscribe already. Um, we are very happy that you guys choose to subscribe to our content, and we would like you to guys to get your people to also subscribe. And yeah, let's let's have the hangout be an even bigger deal. Yeah. It is. Um, <laughs> so today's a Monday, and we are doing a chat room. We're going to be talking about consent. Right? Why did you say it like that? Like, why? Why are you we talking about? Why you know, this? So consent. Like, no, no, give us this only because, like, every time you find something to ask, why do you say it like that? <laughs> How must I anyway, say? Anyway, you guys, yes, we're going to talk about consent <laughs> today. Um, um, we we're gonna try not to make it like too too stiff. Let's make the the conversation um more easy on on mm. the ears. So yeah. Um, the reason we got the, the way we got to this topic was we were watching a Jubilee video. Shout out to Jubilee. Um, they have this thing called the is it the way in? Uh, oh, um, middle ground. So it's basically a, a thing where they do. Um, it's it's a it's a segment that they have on the channel. It's called Middle Ground. They get groups of people who are either for this or against this or whatever, and they have statements which these people would either agree or disagree with and then these statements these people then get get together and talk about it and try to find middle ground so the name mm. makes sense mm. so um yeah we basically watched the video of this and this is what we saw and we're obviously going to link the video on the description box yes, so that if you want to watch the whole thing then you can When I reported my sexual assault incident, which wasn't the one that I described earlier, but um, I like did say no, and so I brought that up to their <coughs> attention, and they were just like, okay, but you stayed in the relationship after, so that basically means you're consenting to everything else. Mm -hmm. What do you think? <laughs> what do you think? <laughs> Are uh, we really no, taught let's consent? Go, let's go. Um, yeah. Here's the thing. Here's the thing. Um, personally, I, I don't like the it is or it isn't conversation or ending it right there mm. um, because because a lot of people try to 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 fit in things that don't really fit into that type of conversation. So I, I personally love it when we have longer conversations about um, consent and stuff. And again, uh, I've never heard of a situation like this mm -hmm. ever, um, but but I, I get how society works as well. Um, cause because of course you got friend people are if you're regular, why are you still there? Like mm. blah, blah. so um I, I I like us getting to go into like all of these um, um avenues and uh, because like even gray itself is not a standard colour. There's darker grays and light lighter grays. <laughs> and, uh, so I, I'm actually I use grey on my <laughs> <laughs> by the way, by the by. <laughs> so I feel, I feel consent deserves a much bigger conversation that we're having, than we are having generally as a society. Uh, we're trying to, and, and the, the way in which we are, we are having it is very dismissive and leaves a lot of people with, with questions. Um, because like some people will say, I didn't say yes, but I didn't say no. So what, what happens I think then? one thing that, I, that annoys me when it comes to it is that people think they, they, like it's up to them to really? to approve your consent or or 
they have a part in approving like they want to there's this definition of consent that if your consent is not up to that standard or up to that definition mm -hmm. then it's not enough should, or, should consent be like what like defined in one way should it always be a specific yes voice no out? i don't think so i don't think so because people are very funny people are very funny because they can they can read your your what is it called again? Well, like, your body language they can read your body language but when it comes to consent they, they, they think you should say no i, I don't want it but, but someone would say snacks tandy or but they can't say i don't think she wants it or i don't think he wants it so sure, it, but it goes it goes both ways because body language can be misread as well i know but why can't you assume i don't want yeah why is safest it that your first concern safest like, assumption is always yes no so okay so i i understand the the um the, the need for people to say no if it's not said then it wasn't given mm. right i understand that because i think it's a safe position to take mm -hmm. um you 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 won't you can't um the, the regret you would have after um going through with it will be much bigger than the regret you would have with not going through it and mm. like hey i could have mm -hmm. so it's it's the safe approach to take mm. i i don't think it's a you don't get a loss by going with that approach mm -hmm. the only thing you would be like hey, son, i could have bagged her mm -hmm. but like it didn't happen like, that's that's a private l you will take mm -hmm. i'm not even sure i, I would call it, it an has L. No anyway. impact in like no life after it doesn't do anything mm -hmm. but the 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 opposite is like mm -hmm. hey. <laughs> and again and again um in 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 within within couple situations mm -hmm. Within couple situations, I think it's actually very important that you discuss it in. A yeah, yeah, like because figure. generally it's like it's a no, like a no is a no. I, I don't even have to say it, but then it comes to a relationship and you just like because again, <laughs> um, um, in in a relationship, yes, this is this is not um, I I don't know the words to use for this, but like in a relationship, people don't have or generally people will not have. Uh, uh, explicit or stated or use their words in saying yes or no. Mm -hmm. People are more likely to use their words to say no mm -hmm. than they are to use their words to say, say yes. yes. So mm -hmm. um, a lot, a lot of times, couples rely on hints. Couples mm -hmm. rely on you know me most. Mm -hmm. Couples rely on if I touch you here, then that means mm -hmm. what. Mm -hmm. um, and 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 also, but but that kind of has the effect of. Things being misread, mm -hmm. like like, um, no matter how well you know each other, like you could mean something yeah, one way. That's true, cause I, I I really wanted to ask: Is it really, uh, is it that difficult to just say no or, or to say yes or is, is it? For that... now, people, it's easier to say no than it is to say yes. Yeah, that's true. Mm. For a lot of people, like and and even even when even when they they mean yes, and <laughs> they say no. No, 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 no way, no, 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 even when they want to say yes, they, they are uncomfortable with the, the it becomes awkward, it becomes, and awkward. I feel it's very sad in a relationship because you, 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 there's this thing of wanting to, like, you know, mm -hmm. you're like, like, how, how long are you going to ask this thing, or, what does it take for you? You know, like that day. So you're like, no. Even if you so what, want what, it, but it's just like, do? what does that do? Does that like, um, so the the the, I don't know what word to use. The dragging out. I don't know. Yeah. Well, what is does, the word? That, 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 actually, the word, but like I can't find it. But it's okay. Does that like, reaffirm your decision or what? Like, what does that do for you? Like, if if you, but I don't know. Like, if you if you. The thing you were talking about just now. Mm. No, I think sometimes it's it's more of like, do you really want it? Are you, you, know? are you not trying to? Yeah. Do Do you really want this thing? Like, I want to see how far you can go to actually get the thing. Sometimes it's a like you just what la la j. What is the word? Oh my 
Mm. And it describes it better what I'm trying to say. Flat. It's a juice. No, not flat, not the juice. It's it's fine though. But let's say we're already in a relationship, yeah. not the beginning yeah. of and you you happen to I don't know ask for something and I keep saying no even though I know I want it but it's just a like a nanny type of thing, you know? And, yeah no uh, like that that one that one is dangerous. It is that it, one it's is very dangerous, dangerous like because that one, it puts you the other party in a difficult position. Yeah. You know, because you don't know sometimes you're like, Oh okay, she said no and you leave it and I'm just mm. like yeah, and and again, yes, and again, a lot, a lot of people, a lot of people would argue that it, it actually makes it even more complicated. Mm. And I, I actually carry that that same argument. And it makes it more complicated because then you are then um, putting putting the other person in a position where they have to now kind of decipher mm. and like mm. figure out mm. things and then go beyond what you've said, which is like now I'm creating my own narratives mm. in my head. So it it's. And and a lot of people, a lot of a lot of um, rapes happen that way. Yes. Uh, so so it's true. a very it's a very it's a very dangerous position to be in, and I think it takes the whole thing back. It it doesn't do a lot for the movement because mm. like ugh, mm. ugh. it doesn't. Also another thing, <laughs> another thing, guys, <laughs> men also have consent to give. I feel like yes, why not man? No, like this thing needs to be <laughs> needs to be put forward. Um, the, the the it's a popular thing. A guy girl wants to have sex with guy. Guy isn't feeling it. Girl goes wherever. Now. Mm. Oh, it's probably like, gay. Yes, it's probably gay. Are <laughs> you just like um, who does not want it in a relationship context? Where did you get it from? Yeah, if you don't want it from me. So it 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 can't just be oh. I don't want to. Like it's yeah, that's heavy. It's it can't just be because now you're a guy, and again, we guys have been socialized to to like, if you don't want sex, then you're not a man, right? Mm -hmm. Getting to a point where a lot of guys actually end up losing their virginity before they really wanted to because mm -hmm. they're driven by society. Mm -hmm. If 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 you're still a virgin by whatever age as a man, like what's wrong with you? Mm -hmm. um, you find even families. Will be like, mm. yeah, it's very sad. I've suspected you. you the were genders are treated differently. Facts, mm. facts. So, I as a man, I, I think it's it's very it's a, it's a worthwhile conversation to to say. Look, guys can also give and withdraw consent, mm. right? Um, and and it doesn't have to be anything more than I don't want to. Mm. I don't have to have an essay. And you, yeah, I was about to say that because we we as women tend to be like, I don't need to give explanation or I don't exactly so so the the, the, the rules the rules that apply for you should apply for me for as, you well. as well like and and again and again look um if 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 you're denied mm. I don't think there's anything wrong when you feel some type of way after being denied because mm. like people are trying to make it seem like you you make a movie you're denied you're supposed to be like oh okay hey <laughs> no, no like way. feel your feelings <laughs> No, no, I, my, no, point is halfway. my point is halfway. <laughs> my point is halfway. Feel your feels, but your feels should not be used to manipulate the other person. Exactly. So it's it's not it's not a okay. Now you're sulking so that they can see you sulk so they can be like okay, yeah. Mm. If you do that, because then, also that's like so you do it. It's manipulative. For the other person. It's mm. manipulative. And and again, who who you don't want to have sex when you feel like you're not wanted. Like you don't want to win sex. Like no, that's mm. no. And again, so so um, I feel like the the conversation around consent is is a lot more nuanced and a lot more detailed mm. than people try to to make it seem. Because again, um, also consent can be withdrawn. Yes. No matter how far it is, mm. like you could be all the way, all the way, and this person's like, nah, I'm not feeling this. Mm. And at that and at that moment, okay. at that moment, what you do after could be mm. rape. Like at that moment, could mm. be rape. Consent is is very like that thing is like 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 this like exactly like this 
One mistake, you are gone. One mistake, and again. One mistake. Again, the the one of the the the, the one we talk about is it's dangerous where you you read off. Uh, you you kind of read what the person is Say, saying to yeah. you. Blah 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 blah. You then find. Uh, let's let's not pretend. There's been there's been instances where people have said. Um, we we had sex and then the next day she was like, no, this is rape, mm. right? In that situation where you read it off, if this person says, but I didn't want to, you have no leg you to stand on. You can't do anything. Mm. You have no leg to stand on at all. And and you can't even say, but you, but mm. you, but you. Some people could even be like, uh, uh, once, once things happen, they freeze. Mm. They're like, mm. they're paralyzed. They can't do anything. And, and... Again, the the what about the I don't want to I don't want to lose him so again so. I that is I don't know that is confidence in yourself though because and also I don't think it's fair for me to say the partner like it's the fault yeah the partner mm -hmm. because clearly it means this is what you use against this person, right? What do you mean? Like you manipulate me, horror. Like at the end, I feel like I don't want to use you, so you use the sex against me to say, like Could I'm it. gonna find it some way. <laughs> okay. If you don't, you know type of thing. Uh -huh. I don't know <clears throat> if it's fair. I just feel like it should be within yourself. You should know your worth. If you don't want to do something, don't do it. It doesn't matter if this. If you can understand that I don't want to do it now, or I don't want to do it for ninety days, then like, what are you here for? So. This this also goes into another conversation, like like the the <laughs> the weaponizing of sex within within yeah. relationships and whatnot. But let's not go there. We, yeah. Because I also wanted to, to just say something. Holy. Also, in a relationship, we tend to be scared, especially in marriage. Let's say in marriage, mm -hmm. you tend to be scared to say no because you feel like you are obliged to do this thing because yes. this is my husband yes. or you know type of thing i also don't feel like that is fair like we need to normalize the fact that you you are on like this is a marriage but you are your own person sure. you know and also it's a different conversation again but also we tend to you know this thing in a marriage it also brings so much problems in a relationship because you feel like you, there's this gap that you need to fill. Like, this is your responsibility. This is your job. And you're not doing things that you don't want. Because there, someone there, says, this is how you need to do things. Is there such a thing as um, sexual responsibility within a marriage? I, I don't know. Because, because look, I, look, I feel like responsibility look, you is have, a huge You have word, needs. Though. You have needs, right? You have needs. Um, and... Cause, cause I also feel like there's, there's someone whenever sex happens, there's someone who wants it and there's someone who agrees to it. Yeah. Right, gives in is a weird word because consent. But anyway, <laughs> <laughs> there's someone who initiates and then someone who's like, okay, cool. Mm -hmm. Right. Um. So, so there's also the um. My person wants this, so mm -hmm. here it is. Right. Mm -hmm. Um. I might not have thought of it, I might not have, whatever, but because of who you are to me, mm -hmm. the, eventually. the door is open. Yeah. But I'm not even going, going the eventually route. Like it's, <laughs> it's... Yeah, so if we don't even go the eventual route, I don't think we should place it like as a responsibility because a responsibility falls like, if you are responsible, if you, you don't do it, then, if you don't do it, then it means you are not responsible. Do you okay, understand? Okay. So you can't really say, this is your responsibility because if yeah, you say so that then it means word, yeah. this is my job so i i can't say no because i said yes to marriage type of thing so so what i what i was trying to get at, and i don't know how to say this i don't know what the what words to use um the the like sex is a part of relationships mm. right um especially when you get to like marriage things because people's beliefs are mm. whatever right so once you had marriage the the uh, a lot of people have the expectation that okay sex is a thing mm. right um, so can, can the other person, the, the one who wants sex, feel some type of way about, like, where, where do you go, where do you draw the line between 
someone just not wanting to have sex with you and someone not feeling like sex in that moment or whatever the words to say this are terrible I'm, I'm not finding i feel like it's a matter of communication because obviously when you get married um you like it's a yeah, thing it's part of a relationship yeah. you know so if it stops you need to find out why you need to understand and also let's be clear that it's okay for you to want to leave if you feel like i'm not getting there we go okay. what i'm supposed to okay. get from my okay. wife or my husband i feel like it's okay because if if sex is an important part of you as mm. an individual yeah. if it's not for me it's okay for you to find someone else because i can't take away that from yeah. you you, yeah. you understand so okay Okay. The only thing, it's, it's just a matter of you guys communicating to say When we first started it was fine, but like Because people also make, make um, people also make sex uh, Look, sex is not um, the, the be all and end all, right? Mm. Uh, for me mm. But also if someone sees, this, sees it as that I don't think it's a, it's a thing that people should judge yes absolutely because everyone has has what they yeah. have right so um i think the conversation about what especially in a marriage marriage context what do you deem marriage to be mm. what, what, what do you think is marriage so if this person is like marriage is people who've committed to to honor each other's needs mm. like mm. anyway guys please let us know what you think <laughs> Have no comments. We tried. This we conversation tried. was everywhere. Let us know what you think in the comment section. Um, we can take this conversation wherever you want to take anywhere, it. Anywhere, baby. Because this one Let can go know. anywhere. <laughs> anyway, I think we are done with it. We are out, guys. And we are out. Bye. Bye. <laughs>